Okay, let's look at page two, or maybe the other side of page one, however you want to look at it. Looks like we have a scenario here. It says Georgia Products Incorporated completed and transferred 209,000 particle board units of production from the pressing department. There was no beginning inventory and process in the department. The ending work in process or the ending in process inventory was 18,000 units, which were half or 50% complete as to conversion costs, similar to the last problem we had. All materials are added at the beginning of the process. Direct materials cost incurred was $783,150. Direct labor cost incurred was $247,210 and factory overhead applied $57,990. Now, it says determine the following for the pressing department round your cost per equivalent unit answers to the nearest cent. So, what you, the first thing you should have done, and hopefully you did do before you even open this video, is you looked at your own copy and you identified what items we actually want to know. Okay? So let's look at letter A. It says, what is total conversion cost? So if we're talking about total, really we can underline every word in this, right? Uh, because they want a total, but they're only talking about conversion costs and we are in fact talking about costs so we know it's going to be a dollar amount well we have three costs here direct materials direct materials are not a conversion cost you can ignore that however we're going to convert direct labor into a product so we are going to be concerned with this direct labor cost incurred of $247,200 so let's plot that. Okay. Factory overhead is also converted into a product cost. And in this case, we have factory overhead applied of $57,990. Okay. The question I don't see any other uh, dollar figures that we have been provided so we can merely add those two numbers up and if we do that I believe we'll come up with 305-200 and that is our answer okay now let's look at the rest of this uh, question. It says conversion cost per equivalent unit, part B, and direct materials cost per unit, per equivalent unit, excuse me, uh, that's part C. Well, now on the previous page that we looked at, we didn't have to convert this. We didn't have to calculate this. It was given to us as $225 and $1.35. But now we've, we've moved along a little bit and we are going to have to convert it. So, when we look at our conversion cost per equivalent unit, I can tell you right now that the numbers that we're going to need for conversion cost is this number right here. We just calculated total conversion cost, now we're going to use it. Just like so. And this is going to be a part of a fraction specifically our 305-200 right here is going to be our numerator. Well, in order to come up with our conversion cost per equivalent unit, we have to know both the total dollar figure for conversion cost. We also need to know how many equivalent units we have per uh, for conversion costs. Okay, so if we go up here, it says that 
completed and transferred units are 209,000. So these 209,000 units are fully complete in every way. Materials, conversion costs, whatever the case may be. So we have 209,000 as part of our denominator. But wait, it also says here, says the ending in process inventory was 18,000 units, which were half complete as to conversion cost. So let's take this 18,000 and multiply that by 0.5 or 50%. And if we do that, we'll come up with 9,000. So we have 209,000 that are fully complete, 100% complete in every way. But we also have another 9,000 units that are, uh, that are equivalent units, 18,000 that are 50% complete. So our true denominator is not 209,000, but 218,000 equivalent units. Again, 209 are all the way there, and 18,000 are 50% of the way, okay? All right, so now all we do is do a little bit of division, and if we take $305,200, and we divide that by 218,000 equivalent units, we come up with a conversion cost of $1.40. Okay? Direct materials cost per equivalent unit, well now we are gonna use the 783.150. And we don't have to add anything to it. We can just plot it as our numerator. Well, Direct materials work a little bit differently. We still need this 209,000 units that were uh, completed and transferred out, but what did we say about materials? Well, I don't know, let's see what it says. The ending working process inventory was 18,000 units, which were half completed to conversion costs. Ah, all materials are added at the beginning of the process. So these 18,000 units here, these 18,000 units that they reference are 100% complete as to materials. So 18,000 times 100% is 18,000. So for materials, our denominator is 227,000. So to come up with our direct materials cost per equivalent unit, we merely divide 783,150, that's our total uh, materials cost, by 227,000 equivalent units. And if we do that, we should come up with $3.45 direct materials cost per equivalent unit.